How do you assess that performance, what we saw on the pitch for Liverpool today? Um, well, I still expect, and you asked me at halftime whether, whether I thought, and I just thought they, they looked a little bit out of sync, wasn't quite right, but Klopp, what was on the bench, what was to come, I was thinking, we're still going to see the fist pumps, probably. We're still going to see Jurgen Klopp somehow celebrating, at very least a draw. I'm telling you, what I want to do straight away is give credit to Crystal Palace with the setup, with the way they played, with the threats. I mean, it was a bonkers game. How it ended up just one goal, I'll, I'll never know. Jefferson Lerma played like a, a midfield playing at centre-back was incredible. But Liverpool Football Club have had a terrible week. A draw with Manchester United, a loss against Atalanta, and, and now a loss at home. The first loss in 28 Premier League games at home. It's basically, you asked have they blinked, wow. Some blink we've had for, from Liverpool in, in the space of seven days. Seems like shock throughout the building, Robbie Mustard. Absolutely, and I've never seen Jurgen Klopp look so dejected. And that slow walk down the tunnel uh, was, was kind of painful. You look at the players, the body language, the faces, they're stunned, they're shocked, they're, they're, they're gutted and devastated about it. Again, to mirror Robbie Earl, Crystal Palace were phenomenal in the game, by the way, throughout the match, and still... We'll see in the highlights some opportunities for Liverpool to score goals from within six yards multiple times. We talked about the wastefulness against Man United in the first half um, last weekend and the wastefulness again. Now, Liverpool never, ne never found their rhythm and they never really pulverised Palace from the first whistle. It was a slow start. But those misses, I mean, wow, chances to make something happen in, in the second half. And, and the problem for that Liverpool have had is, I think it's the ninth straight Premier League game at home now, they've conceded goals. And we, we've kept seeing these, you know, concede goals and finally win and, and all the noise and, and, and all the fans involved. But that is not sustainable. The, best, the team that usually wins the, the title has got one of the best defensive records. And at the moment, that, that's Arsenal. And, and Liverpool, it was almost as though... Well, even though we concede, we've got Salah, we've got Nunes, we've got Jota, we've got Gakpo, we've got Diaz. Somebody up there will score the goals. Well, today was one of those days when, by luck, by great defending, by goalkeeper saves, that goal didn't come. I mean, to be fair, Rob, the Liverpool defence has been, has been good. They, and look at the, the numbers right now. They've mm. conceded less goals than Man City, but recently... I agree. Recently, they've mm. looked more porous. There's been changes back there with the injuries and players come back and, and trying and to find out. It's not just a back four thing, Rob, is it? it, it it's a team thing. But what I'm saying is, you know, there's almost a feel with Liverpool that like, even though we concede, we'll score. Well, actually, no, you know, that sometimes there, there'll, you're be, there'll be days over 30 correct. games weeks Wait, when that disconnect, and that's when we've given was Arsenal so much credit that mm. they seem to be connected and, and organised in every area. And with Liverpool, we're going with, I think I said it at half time or before the game, the emotion of Klopp might be enough to overcome some of these little doubts that we have. Mm. But, it, but here, again, <laughs> the chances, though, Rob, that they miss, given all that, yeah. is still quite remarkable. So here's, here's the question that everyone inside that building, every Liverpool fan, want to wanna know. You just got a handful of games left here, six. Yeah. Robbie Musto, do they have a chance? They do have a chance. Mm. Slim. Yeah. They're still in the race. They're still in the race. When you look at the numbers, there's six games to go. Arsenal have got to play in a minute, but they're still in the race. But now, that's a damaging result. They're, of course, the outsider, but not out of it. For sure. This is, this is where Jurgen Klopp will have to show all his man management skills, all his ability to, to get this team back on track. Remember, they go to Atalanta now midweek, mid whatever team he plays there, and then they've got six Premier League games. They need 18 points from those six games mm. to give themselves a chance. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.